So we're here to teach you the proper way to build a PC. Anything you've ever been taught before, ignore it. Because I, I heard something about the Illuminati and about how like it, it, custom stuff is bad for marketing shit. All right, we're just gonna show you. All right, set step. All right. <laughs> Alright, so once you have all of your parts assembled and neatly laid out so you got them organized, then you can begin the building process. I like the building process. Okay, I get the drill. Alright, what you'll need is something to hammer. I got a pickaxe thing. That yeah. works. That'll work. A drill. Put the screws in because screws. the motherboard needs to be securely fastened to the case. Where's the screws? Uh, oh, they're over here. Oh, we have the screws. Alright. Let's get the case prepped and ready to put the uh, motherboard in. We got everything out of the way and it goes in. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't much panel. matter okay, as long so as the thing fits. If it fits in there, Yep, that'll be good. First, what you want to do is install the back plate for your cooler. So you got the hammer. Yep, got to so get the hammer to we'll install the back plate. We'll try to make sure we can show you what's going on here. We'll move these cones that are fragile out of the way. Right about, uh, all right, make sure it stays in place. Yep, got to gently hammer each piece into place. Gently though, don't screw anything up, okay? Don't break Th the motherboard. Seriously, if you have an expensive motherboard and you fuck it up... You have to be very delicate about these pins on top here. Any one of them is bent, your mother, your computer won't work, your motherboard's worthless. So as we can tell, I think they're all straight. The, they're all straight, right? Yeah. Good enough. I mean, It opens fine? Yeah, yeah whatever. All right. I, Good enough. Uh, so to install it, what, we just... I don't know. Um, um, there's like this thing they go into up here, uh, who made this? So, I think the manufacturer screwed up. Alright, it fits. Ah, I see what the matter is. The, the drill is set wrong, see, see the switches here? Gotta make sure it's set right. Good. Good. Yep. Uh, uh, I think what? One more. Yeah. One more, dude. Here. Uh, what do you agree to? One more screw. Yeah, I think one more will be good. I mean, it is. You know, it doesn't matter as long as the damn thing stays in place. Just, just one, more. one more. There we go. It, it doesn't matter really if you strip it a bit. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, staying in place now. You, you want it to stay in place. If the screw strip is just harder to take out, so then it works. Cable management is the most important thing because the difference between some computer you buy in the store and you make yourself is cable management. The looks you can give by just organizing cables nicely are amazing. All right, can I prepare? No, nope, here. Where's the, uh, so do we have to, I'm thinking duct tape. I don't know how to no, it, hey, it was in there, man. I already had it in there. I don't know what you're doing. Get the duct tape. No, that's nope. that's definitely upside down. Oh. Well, I don't know. Here. All right, I'll, I'll hold it in place here. It's two. If you go across corners, you leave less screws. Good. Good in place. Alright, it's, it's good. Alright. This thermal compound. 
All right. So, uh, what is it? Power last year. Let's install a RAM before we get this cable in there. So we need to uh, show them properly install RAM. So what you want to do, you want to take your RAM chip and then gently place it in one of these slots here. Or is it this one? Is it? Um, does it fit? No, I don't think. Well, actually, you're right. It doesn't fit. Well, anyway, you want to stick it in whatever slot fits and uh, just kind of nudge it, nudge it down in there. I mean, a bit. All right. See, there's these tabs on the side that have to close. I don't know if you can see. So there's these uh, tabs that open and close on it, and you want those done. And it takes a lot of force. That's why we're using a hammer. Yeah. You can opt for uh, anything to apply enough force to close it. Uh, we definitely suggest hammers because that applies the most force and it does the least amount of damage to the PCB. Uh, and if you're wondering, these are high-end 256 megabyte cards. I highly recommend these. These these are top of the line. These will make your PC run brand new if it has a few years on it. But anyway, here's the second RAM tip. Just do the same thing. And there right. you go. It's installed. Make sure it doesn't come out when you hold it. Yeah, here. This right, is a, power time. Yep, this, this is the power. It's important because without power it doesn't work. Uh, I think that goes there. Not quite sure this. No, I, I'm thinking, yeah, right here. I think right this. There. Yep. Look, I mean, it'll fit perfectly down in there. Um, these aren't important. I don't know what, actually what those are, but they're not important. Uh, we'll just put them out of the way here. Actually, back to that cable management. Let's let's hide these in the case. Yep, just, just shove them way. anywhere. It doesn't matter. Now they're out of the way. All right, now on to the CPU. And this is very important, gentlemen. This is what makes your computer. Where's the CPU? Okay. There's the CPU. Mm, it's warm. <laughs> All right, so just to install your CPU, you just, shit, um, you, you just unlock it. There's some kind of locking mechanism. This CP that we're using is some Intel one. I don't know. I don't even know. It's Intel, so it's better. Um, and you just place it gently. I don't think it's in there quite what. I, I, I don't know. I think it's in there. I don't know. All right, then you lock it down, and there you go. You have your CPU all good to go. Explain the importance of thermal compound. Thermal compound, without it, it will your CPU will fry itself because reasons. It, it gets, oh, right. shit. Uh, anyway, so what we're using is Crest Pro Health thermal compound, and it's really great. It protects against gingivitis. And it actually helps reverse gingivitis in four weeks. And this definitely isn't product placement, and we're definitely not getting paid. All right. So, to, to put thermal compound on, you just squirt a little bit. Um, I think that's a bit much, that's but I mean, you just kind of spread it around. Um, this is what prevents your actually from overheating. Get those. Some on the rams to make it cool because I mean you can't go wrong with thermal compound I mean it cools your shit down. So next we'll show you the proper way to mount the CPU cooler Which is the most essential part and no matter how you're running the machine You should always make sure you have cooling on the CPU. Otherwise, it will probably light on fire So there's four posts to this One two three four so all it takes, and it's perfectly locked in. All right, and then you want to connect it, otherwise it won't work. So here's some pins here that probably are right. Uh, all right. Yeah, the, yep, it'll work. I mean, if and it doesn't, good. Just... Nope, nope, that's still a little loose. Need the drill? Yeah, here. I'm sure.
Yeah, yeah. It'll stay. It, it's good. Hold on. It's actually it's grabbing on. So uh, probably just. Oh, it's not staying. I've never had this. Up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Now. All right. So once properly installed, we're on to. Uh, well, I guess we're done. That's how you clean off the computer. In case you want your shit clean. So we'll teach you all how to plug this up. All right, so you just take this here power cable that you have plugged in and you just plug it in. And yeah, turn it on. And um, it It's not running. Uh, did we do it right? I don't know. Oh, power button. Right. Um. Ah. Huh. Weird. It usually works. Uh. I don't know. Well, anyway, that's how you install components in your computer. Um. Good luck.